Hi everyone, welcome to Dreamweaver tutorial. Today, I would like to show you the differences between CSS6 and CC user interface. First of all, let's take a look at CSS6. When you open a program, you'll see the welcome panel pops up. So I'm just gonna quickly create an HTML file here. And right now, my workspace is set it to a classic. When you're using a classic view, you will see your insert panel is right here. And then CSS style panels here and file panel. Of course, you can swap if you like. And the property panel for this page down at the bottom. Let's just quickly create a new, insert a new div tag here, box. And you can define your CSS rule from here, okay? Okay, as soon as, soon as you do that, you will see um, your CSS panel has a box selector defined and definition will appear inside your head tag. If you're gonna attach to a different uh, separate file, you can do that by just by right click and then you will see uh, move to CSS rule to somewhere else. So now let's create another uh, div tag here. So this time I'm going to do box two, but however, for some reason, I forgot to create a new rule here. I'm just going to click OK. So you will see nothing happened on your CSS style panel. So in this point, you can just click, go down here. There's a plus button here and just click on that. So you will automatically know I want to define my box two. All right, so in this point, I'm just gonna quickly change different colors here and make the box slightly taller so you can see. All right, now let's go take a look at CC. We are in CC right now, so the welcome panel almost the same. Open up my demo HTML. All right, so right now we are in CC, okay? So now let's take a look about workspace. Right now, you only have a two choice. One is compact, one is thin. The compact, drag it back, will become compact. Doesn't make that much difference. Insert panel right now is here. File panel right now is sit next to insert panel. You have a CSS designer. Actually, this one is replaced. CSS style panel. And also you have a page property panel down here and did not change. And on the document panel, you will see lots of icons being cleaned up, simpler and much easier to use. And then it's the same thing when you want to close the panel, you can just right click, little dialog box will pop up and unclick. So if you accidentally close a document panel, the only way you can get it back is from your program menu view. And there's a toolbars, check the document and then you get it back. From here, you can just get your standard panel back. Now let's take a look at your insert panel. You no longer have a color icons anymore. And also the category has been changed a little bit. You can just drag it out and dock it here. So you can just drag it back. And of course you can swap. The file panel stay pretty much the same. Now let's take a look at a CSS designer panel. This panel is the obstacle people want to get through it because it's, it's so different from the CSS 6. Okay, let's take a look at the source is where your, your style located. So you have three different choices, either create a new CSS file or attach to it, or you can define in page. So right now I only have a style and angle bracket here, which means I define my style in my page. There's no way you can move this thing, even though you right click, nothing happened. So you pretty much, you have to copy this and then create a new CSS file and then copy and paste. Now let's take a look at media. And media actually is target different device resolutions or orientations. When you click on plus signs here and you can get some media and then you want, you can do screen print. So, and you will create a media screen. Okay. The selector actually is your style here. So right now, remember I created two boxes here. And then when you click on it, you will see, because I have this box checked, you will only show the properties that I apply. And so if you wanna add another properties, you should uncheck this and everything will come back. All the properties available. So uh, this is very, very long and very hard to navigate. The best way to do it is find what you want to do. 
So first of all, I would think about I want to change the typeface. So just go to text and I'm just going to change family here. And I'm going to change size a little bit. I'm going to do point. You see the little arrow comes up and you can hold and drag to the right to increase, drag to the left to decrease. Although the highlight is hard to see how what the number is, but you get the idea. Of course, you can type it in. Whenever you double click and nothing happened, you know, you're expecting the definition box. It, it's going to show up, but it's no longer that way. And you think, well, you not you are unable to find this box. Yes, you can. So first of all, you highlight this box first, and then you go back to your, well, actually, you should put your cursor, whatever you want to style, and you will see. There's it on your pop page properties panel here, there's a two choice. One's HTML and the other one is CSS. So on CSS, you see your target rule is on box. Of course, it's not the right place. You can just click on this and choose box two if you want. Edit rule. See? So this is the old box. Well, pops up. So I wish they can update this box. They'll be very good. So I hope this tutorial will clarify how you're using a CC user interface.